From roads to bridges, tunnels to trains, the cost of commuting is going to go up, according to a leaked document prepared by a committee of Lower Mainland politicians. Who leaked this report? Who do you think leaked this I have this report? no idea, but I would like to whack him on the side of the head. Somebody feels they want to leak it to be a hero or whatever. The bottom line is don't overreact to any of those things. Lots of work has to be done. The mayors need to find a way to fund the transportation system in the Lower Mainland. And this document shows they're going to hit everyone, everywhere. So if you own property, drive a car or take public transit, you're in their sights. Are we going to just see taxes and levies all over the place now? Is that where we're heading? Well, I think it, it's presumptuous to say we're heading to anything at the moment. But road pricing as a philosophy for funding transportation is best practice in many places in the world. So is that something we should look at in terms of a long-term strategy? Absolutely. This report is a bit of a sham. The first thing they should be doing is going back and looking at their own house, putting it in order, reducing costs, doing what other governments are being forced to do, and saving taxpayers money. The document shows the group is contemplating tolls on major water crossings, entry and exit points, bridges and tunnels, as well as fuel, carbon and property taxes, and levies on parking, business payroll, car rentals and hotel rooms. We're really taxed, as it is North America's overtaxed. It's spread out over, over everyone, I think it'll be such a small incremental increase that you know probably won't affect our lives. It's just another pocket that they're trying to take our money from and I don't agree with it at all. This is something the Mayor's Council are going to have to engage the public that they represent and engage the public in a conversation that finds out what is palatable. The thought of just thinking there could be more transit and enhanced transit with nobody paying more money, uh, I don't think that's a realistic expectation. Do you think the mayors and other politicians are prepared to stake their political careers on something like this that will likely be unpopular? We stake our political careers every day in any decision we make because some people like it, other people don't like it. We need a long-term strategy so that we're not cherry-picking additional taxes all the time to fund the next project.